Welcome, 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 my little Saggies, my little Saggies. Week two. Let's see what this energy is like. Let's see what this energy is like for Saggies, my little Saggies. That song keeps coming to me. We can work it out. So, <clears throat> looks like you can work out something. We have forgiveness. And then we have pride. Um, I shuffled those really good. That was in Leo, and that was at the bottom of the deck of Leo. That was also on the bottom of the deck of Aries. Okay. So something can be worked out. Um, you could be harboring something. You could be resenting somebody right now, which is blocking the flow of love, letting pride get in the way. Or you could be dealing with somebody who's letting pride get in the way, and you're now you know, block to the situation. Um, Sag, week two, current energy. Again, we can work it out. So we got flirt and pay attention to red flags. That's kind of like, eh. What he or she is thinking. So to me, currently, I really feel like that's fear or a trust issue. One more for how he or she is feeling, please. Maybe you're hoping to work something out. Separation. Okay. What you don't see coming or what you don't know. Religious factors. That was just in Leo's too in the same position. Newness, or well, playfulness and newness. Um, it knows I was going to a possible outcome, but hold on. Okay. New love. That's your outcome. Current past, two hours ago, two weeks ago, two months ago, two years ago engagement so I don't know if you were hoping something was gonna escalate and it didn't and it might be because there's some shady shit going down the cat's trying to get in but I'm keeping her out him out there right now because he's being a nuisance and I love him but man he's like being a nuisance okay so let me sit with this for a sec. I think that's more paranoia. I'll get to it though. Because somebody else is like, what are you doing? Why are you holding on to what you're holding on to? which probably caused a separation between you two. So tell me about, tell me about red flags. Somebody wants a new opportunity with you. It's like more than just flirting. They want to rebuild. They want to start something new and fresh. My back is rocking. That happened in one of the reads last week. Pay attention to red flags. Something's going on with the money. With the Empress, something's over. Something's going down with money. Well, there's a family dynamic and someone's being shady as shit. Maybe not telling somebody you want a new stat. Someone's playing with money. Tell me about this ten of pence. Stressed out over money, family dynamics, public eye. Something's going on clear as day with someone's money.
someone can be showing off their money, or flirting, expensive cars, clothes. <clears throat> Spending too much. Like this is show off. This is someone who's showing off. That's show off energy. My Sages love to show up and show off, but not like this. So, I'm telling you, there's something not right there. Especially to pay attention to red flags. It's either a family dynamic or money. You got, you got a lot of pens right there. Okay. This is saying fear. You could be fear of losing your money. But you got to communicate. You got to talk about it. Whatever the problem is, you've got to talk about it. You're hiding it. I don't know why. Let's find out what's going on with your current past. Current past, please, engagement. Yeah, see, something's hidden. You're feeling stuck. It's Something's hidden from you right now. See, this isn't even you. Like, this is you. You thought something was going to escalate. It didn't. Well, this is a masculine thinking about you or same sex, whatever it is, because they want to offer you something new. I don't know if you're dealing with a show off. <sighs> like it's for show. But there's like fear. There's, there's money, fear around money. And someone's not talking about it. Tell me the least your ex. What is this? This is how, so somebody you're dealing with knows you're holding on. And they're, they're pissed. They got barriers up. You got barriers up. It probably caused a separation here between you two. Or they're waiting for you to separate. Like, this is somebody that will stand their ground. I keep putting her back in upright, and she keeps coming out reversed all day. This queen of coin. This queen of cups. This is like a shock out of the blue. It's like somebody out of the blue is like, bam, done. Somebody knows you're holding on to something, and it could be money. There, there's something here that you're not telling somebody, but this person's extremely intuitive. Someone's upset you changed your mind, you're going in a new direction. It's shocking. It's, it's literally out of nowhere. Tell me about this tower. But to me, I don't know how it would be out of nowhere because release your ex. That's something, yeah, see, that's a uh, definite finale, ending, no going back, toxic situation. Someone has definitely got a masculine going in a new direction. You got a feminine hiding something from a masculine energy or something. Tell me about religious factors. Somebody is against somebody's culture, color. It's like, oh, what you don't see. Or someone's going to shock you. Because in another read, it was, I think it was Leo, where it was like, you're actually more like-minded, spiritual than you actually thought. No, see, somebody fell in love with someone who's spiritual. And is trying to figure out how to strategically come back in. And work things out. So tell me about playfulness and new love. Yeah, see, you're not doing much. There's, there's somebody blocking a situation. There's still an energy here blocking new love. This is somebody who just is going to have to go within and deal with it. Wanted to play. No actions being taken. Was put on hold. Not working it out. Tell me about new love. Because new love is here all day. Yeah, somebody's going after new love. There's obviously multiple people here. Bottom of the deck, eight of pence. It's, it's like at the bottom of the deck. This whole entire time. Let me just sit with this a minute. Because they're keeping a money family situation. Someone's fearing money. But see, it's, it's pay attention to red flags. So something's actually happening. And then, I don't know if it's the other energy, it's like, oh my god. Looks like you had security, someone taking care of you, or, or something, and now it's like, gone. It's like something almost moved forward. 
and then bam. It's it, because there's something hidden. It's a lie. There's something hidden. Somebody fell in love with someone spiritual or a different culture or something. But they're looking at that person like, oh, that person's keeping their options open. So I don't know what's going on there. No, somebody wants to come back in and regain this balance or they think you're feeding someone else. Yeah, somebody thinks you're doing something shady. But I don't think so. To me, you're just, you're going after new love. You want new love. You don't want the, what this is. You going you want new. And new is coming. So obviously you're going to have a, to make a choice. It's like you're still holding on to something that's dead. Being stabbed in the back numerous times. Endless cycles. Let it go. This person's fully aware. And then some, and then there's like a blockage. There's a feminine blockage. Somebody else had that. And it's like, we're trying to convince. Doesn't want to sacrifice. Doesn't want to let control. Like, it's, this, it's just, it's over. This is, whatever, it's over. What The X, done. There's new love. And, and with this playfulness, somebody still wanted to come in. But now... Was trying to block. Can't really block anymore. Someone's going after new love. Someone's going after someone spiritual. It's a shit show right here. Let's see. Something's going down with money. Yeah, that's, see, that's the karmic. I think somebody's just, like, worried about telling somebody else they're moving forward, too, because that was coming in another reads. I think that was coming in an Aries. But, um, this is like, oh, shit, my security. So I don't, I don't know if you got a feminine doing something sneaky behind your back with money, so be careful. Because it's like she, she's, she's hiding something. A Sag, whoever this is, is, is hiding something. They thought something was going to escalate and it, it didn't. It came to a halt like it's over. So like it's like, oh, my security is gone. Freaking out. Yeah, see, endings bring new beginnings, growth, liberation, change, change. Like this is some, but she, she's still hiding something or something's hiding something. Or somebody's hiding something from her. But this energy was trying to block. So, yes, she she might be feeling stabbed in the back or she's about to stab someone in the back because she's pissed. Someone's literally scared to tell somebody else they're moving forward. That literally came out in all three of my fire reads. But you want, there's there's new love. Someone fell in love with someone spiritual. Or you're the spiritual one and you're, you're, you're going to start dating and getting back out there. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart. See, I knew it. But then you have this energy blocking it, but they they can't block it. It's, it's coming. It's right around the corner. So you're either going to work something out with somebody from your past or you're going to take new love. Got the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship. See, there's a feminine here. It's not good. And you got new love. Yeah, clarity, truth being revealed, protection, power. So it's, something's protected here, too. <clears throat> Healthy choices, girl talk. So making better choices, self-love. So right now you're just loving yourself, right? Spending time with friends, happily single, and then bam. Here it comes. Because it's like you don't see it coming. Impossible outcome. To me, it's, that's over. You want something new, you're taking care of yourself, hanging out with your friends. Bam. There it is. Wow. All right. There's not really much more to dig into, guys. I mean, I can give you a few messages here, but I'm telling you, there's a, quite a few people here, so I'm going to have to try to figure out who's who, but... You don't know how hard I was to let you go. Finding out the truth crushed me. I left you before you could leave me. 
Yeah, that's karmic talk all day. I wonder if you're happy without me. I bury myself and work to forget about you. That's it just... Or this is you, you know, um, you had to let this go because they were dealing with a karmic. And you were out, but you're still wondering if they love you. So that's why I'm like, eh, no, not if you're going after new love. That That's that's why it's, it's the other one. So somebody's holding on more than the other person is. And that's that's normal in comic situations. All right. So look forward to the new love or rekindling of a love. Something's going to be settled. We can work it out. Love you.